So our cat's addicted. Look. Got some of this green stuff. That reefer for the cat. Oh, yeah, he's all over it. Oh! Oh, oh you want some of it? Oh! oh he really needs it! Oh, yeah, you want to fix. Yeah, kitty cat. Oh, yeah, here you go. Here's your little toy. Look at that! He rubbed it! Now he's spooked. <sighs> so, Hank's home from his interview. He is eating the new, like, taco... What is it called? It's a tortilla stuffed taco thing. And then he brought me a taco salad from Taco Bell. Hey, open the bag. I'm probably the cinnamon sugary things that I like. Yeah. So, he had his interview this morning. Right now, I am soaking some seeds some fig seeds and I'm making some caramel on the stove but that's going to take about three hours and I have some apples so that's kind of what I wanted to use for snack caramel and apples but yeah <sighs> that's all that's going on so far this morning so we're back from Costco's we went to Costco's I got my new card from Costco's so that's exciting Hank is i guess resetting the oven but they had peaches and costco really never has peaches so i had to get them and i saw someone eating a peach a couple days ago and i'm like mm, i missed the fuzzy fruit so i got me some peaches so it'll be good with yogurt and a tiny bit of honey on top oh. and this is what hank is doing making diabetes he sticks sticking a snickers or twix bar or whatever snickers, snickers bar in the caramel sauce and eating it and not only that is he has a doctor's appointment tomorrow for high cholesterol and i guess heart disease or something i don't know and this is what he's eating right now <laughs> I, and that just sickens me how sweet that has to be so hank's leaving to go to his friend's house and he's not going to be home till much later he's in a dark on guys if you understand and if you've seen other videos, you kind of understand. So he is going over there, and when he's leaving, he's like, hold on. And he was locking on the doors and making sure the windows were locked. I'm like, what are you doing? There's a crackhead trying to break in people's houses. And honestly, I don't know if he's a crackhead, but that's what my neighbor said he was. And then Hank's like, yeah, I saw him walking around. He's on some drugs. Guys. That's like, oh, there's a boogeyman under night, good night, and you turn off the light on your kids or something. <sighs> this is an adult version of a boogeyman. I'm up the house and I put my almond milk away and I find something hidden in a corner. And I'm like, what the heck is there, this? It looks like a bunch of voodoo stuff. Um, do you see this? Hank is like a witch right now. It's like a chicken with an eyeball on a stomach. I'm pretty sure it's not a chicken though. And it's like painted up. And it's has all these like hieroglyphics on it. And then it even has a handle. Like what the heck? He's a chicken a worshiper or something. I don't know. But yeah, I was in here putting up my milk. Cause you guys know I just bought almond milk a couple days ago. And then I realized I still had like 10 almond milk from the time I purchased it before. Look at him, he's cute in his little green shirt. And then we got chicken and more whatever that yellow stuff's called, cheese. And then cat. we got cat. we got bread, hot dog buns, salad, cat. more buns. Slash Sandra Lee sandwich then You guys know they're not Sandra Lee's. And Twix chocolate bars. Because like every night I've been coming home from work. Craving chocolate. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about my caramel that I have here. And I let the can um, come out of water. And I guess what I read online is it can explode. If it reaches. Like the can reaches the air. Oh my gosh. So it's fine now. What time I put this in? Like 1.30. So, still got a little longer, but not much, and we'll see. Tonight, we'll have some caramel. I'm not a huge fan of caramel. I don't know. It's just give or take with me with caramel. So, I finally took the can out of the water, and I have my seeds over here that are 
just kind of floating around. So we're going to try this out. We're going to see how this goes and hopefully it doesn't explode because I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, my cat just scared me. No, it didn't explode. Oh my gosh, it is not ready. Kind of caramely, not super caramely. I'm going to open it up a little more and check it out. Alright. So, good morning guys. Today I uh, go back to the doctors for my follow-up. And Ugi Bear was stuck right there. And he was scared. And he was, he was like this with one arm sticking out. And he's like... And it was silly. Wifey Pooh's over there eating some M&M's for breakfast. She also had some eggs and some other stuff. Oh, with jelly. You know, strawberry jelly. So I think she goes to work a little bit later today, and I gotta go to the doctor a little bit later today. <laughs> last night we went out to a, a restaurant last night, and that was eh, it was okay, not the best, not the worst. The cold, Hank the fries were like, cold. Hank was like, "It's so good, it's so good." For a bar, it's good, but it, yeah, the cold the fries were cold. You know, it wasn't like I don't know. I guess they're slow. And the chicken was dry, and the and the dressing was sweet. And the, she said the wings were over marinated. Way over marinated to compensate for how dry they cooked them. Yeah, comp over compensating for something, you know. We went got Monopoly last night, and we never played it. We're gonna play it today. So she says. Guys, I ordered fig trees online and I spent $60 on fig trees on eBay. I want to show you the size of the freaking box they come in. See? That's the size of the box. Hey guys, so I got my fig trees in the mail as you saw. So I'm planting them up now. I got some of these. I don't have a lot, but I have some of these to plant my fig trees in or my, my little fig growth. I don't know if I can even call it a tree, but um, I'm super excited because most of them look like they did pretty well in the transfer over here and it looks like they're all going to survive. So we'll see what I got here. So this looks like something, see, like they all have really good growth on them. So I just got done planting up all my fig trees, so I don't even know how many I have, or fig sprouts I'll call them, they're so freaking small. Um, some of them are looking pretty good. There's one of them, this one has mold growing on it, so I'm not really sure. Oh, maybe I can pinch it off. Yeah, I think I got the mold. But, yeah, so I have Texas Everbearing, which is probably one of the tallest ones other than the Desert King fig which they both look like they're doing really good. And some of them have so many like roots starting on the bottom. So I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. I'm gonna come out probably in the next hour, check up on them. But I have this last fig already in the front yard and the rest are just all new to me. Um, some of these are more common than the others like the desert and the Texas. This I never heard, the violet, the Olympian. I never heard of. Black Mission's very common. The Kodak or Kodata, I don't know how to say it. And Magnolia, I haven't really heard of, but here's a brown turkey, which you guys know about. But we're just going to see how it is and see how these do for the next couple days. And hopefully they're used to the sunlight. It's 100 in here. It's actually 110 in here, so it's very hot. The figs like it hot, or I'm hoping they like it hot because that is what they're getting today, is some nice hot weather. But they came from Florida. I'm not sure if he grew these inside under a light or grew them outside, but some of these leaves are very pretty. Others are just kind of normal looking leaves. But we'll see, we're gonna see.